Hello, Diego. Hello. Welcome Andrei. to Saint Petersburg. It's great to see you here. Uh, what uh, brings you to Saint Petersburg? Um, no, I this time I I will do an exhibition in Capella on 30, 30 November 30. Uh, will be the the opening. And this exhibition uh, is about uh, St. Petersburg this time. Uh, last year I, I went to do an exhibition about my own project that the name is uh, Floating Woman. And this project are uh, all girls under the water uh, with clothes like uh, floating in a dream. And I try to catch the um, ambience of the feeling of the woman mixing with the um, landscape of the deep ocean because I'm living in Mallorca and I'm all the time in contact with the sea and with the landscape and, and, and I like the mystery of the woman. I wanted to mix these things, the landscape of the ocean and the mystery of the woman in one project. And I did this project that called, uh, the name is uh, Floating Woman. I uh, was doing uh, this exhibition last year in November. And in the time, the um, Kira of Capella came to the exhibition and she liked the, the, the exhibition of Floating Bowman and she asked me to do an exhibition in Capella, um, but about Petersburg. Great. Uh, and uh, pictures of St. Petersburg. Uh, St. Petersburg is a big city, actually, and there are a lot of places where you can take uh, yes. photos and pictures. Uh, what um, uh, what pictures and what place, places you like the most? Yes, um, first of all, when Kira told me about this uh, exhibition, I was thinking, what can I offer? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I know that Petersburg uh, is a great city, and all but I know that it's a great city, uh, touristic landscape, art, people, and there are a lot of artists uh, doing things in, in Petersburg and trying to catch the atmosphere of Petersburg. Um, great photographers and musicians, artists, and I said, well, what, what can I do? And I was thinking and I was working. I came several times to Petersburg to make pictures and I was walking the streets in the center and not in the center, I was with the Mm, with the tour outside in, in Petersburg and trying to find an idea. And mm, first of all, I think that I mm, catch the mm, naked atmosphere of Petersburg mostly without people. You know, this landscape when you are walking in the night with the cold or the snow and you are near to the Moika, I don't know, walking and it's like a poetry only with the landscape um, and I tried to catch this feeling. Yes. After that I was thinking was I can offer more and someday walking all the, the rivers a uh, thousand times <laughs> I um, realized that in the reflection of the river of the canals um, there are like other city, mm -hmm. other view of Petersburg um, because the river have this movement and the like mirror. yes, like a mirror. But if you turn the picture, it's like you are looking in the, the true landscape, but with the filter of uh, impressionist uh, way, with a lot of colors and movement and oh, water is moving and changing all. Yeah, yes, that's, that's great. And I was uh, working with this idea, and I will present this picture with a. Uh, the mirror of Petersburg, something like this, with a lot of colors. But I was lucky with a wonderful days with uh, oh, blue sky and yes. uh, weather. Saint Petersburg sometimes are bad. Uh, did you catch wa white nights? No, I always <laughs> want to come in, in this time, but I, I, I didn't. I would like to come. Uh, but you have uh, pictures of night, uh, Saint Petersburg as well. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, so canals and rivers and Neva as well. Yes. 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 Oh, I would love to see it. I'm sure. Other view. 
and uh, when you walk in around St. Petersburg you can find an uh, artist who sells the um, impression, impressionist pictures on St. Yeah. Petersburg and you visual, visualized them with your photography. It's, it's wonderful, uh, really, and I want, I want you to thank you for the, uh, this. Yes, um, I, I try to do it uh, with a humble mm -hmm. view because I know that there are a lot of wonderful artists working and I'm trying to catch the atmosphere of my view of Petersburg but with a lot of respect because I'm not from here and I try to do something good trying to reflect the, 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 my feeling in the, in the city. I'm sure, I'm sure you did great. Okay, again I want to thank you about... Uh, you, I, I want to thank you for this great exhibition and I welcome all our listeners and viewers uh, on this exhibition which will held from 30 November which will help from 30 November till 14 yes 14 December right yes okay at uh, Cap Capella okay well, let's talk about uh, photography uh, all, all about uh, your style as photographer how you describe it? Interesting question. I'm like in Russia, I always trying to learn. <laughs> is it, um, I don't know if it's a style is a, um, like a way to do. I try to learn different things and point of view, not uh, um, practice only one way in photography, music or in painting. Um, in this way, it's not so easy to have a style, <laughs> you mean. But, but um, my thinking is, uh, my, I, I, for, for example, I like to do a lot of um, shooting of people. Mm -hmm. And for me, the most important is try to catch the feeling of the people. You know, this is the view, the, 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 the looking of the people. This is the most important. Sometimes the technique is important, of course, but uh, the most important is to um, uh, have a communication, a real communication with the other one and in this way you can make the soul uh, of the other people. Uh, and because people are different and similar at the same time in every part of the world. And yes. For example, here in Russia for me it's so interesting when I walk in or when I take the metro, uh, I'm like a... Like a um, uh, like a child looking all things, uh, the way that the people wear or take the, the, the scarf or, or the gloves or um, the way that the people walk. Uh, and I try to catch these things in the pictures. Uh, or the silence, uh, it's different the silence in the city of the people here in, in Russia than in Mallorca or Spain or than in Argentina even. Uh -huh. Um, here the people is all silence. Really? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Speak so softly, and in Spain or Argentina is more high. All the people speaking high. <laughs> it's different culture, and this is so interesting. You can discover a different way to 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 live. Okay, let's talk about your music. Uh, your guitar. It's uh, your main uh, instrument. <laughs> No, no, it's, it's like in all the way that I was telling you about uh, painting, about uh, um, uh -huh. photography, about artists. I have not main of nothing. <laughs> the main is the concept, mm. the main is the, the, the creation, the, um, the feeling. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, but what I, instruments you. Yes, I, I can, for uh -huh. example, for me it's more natural, not main, more natural, the, the wind instruments, like flutes. Oh. Um, I like to discover different flutes uh, of different parts of the world. Um, the, best, the first one that I played uh, was the kena. A kena is an instrument from South America, Argentina, Bolivia, Peru, all these countries of South America, and was created for the native uh, people of, of America, and it's only a bamboo with holes. Only this, mm, so simply. And I love so much this instrument because when you play, you can close your eyes and you can feel other connection with yourself and with the world. It's like a, like a trip. Um, 
like a um, soul trip. I don't know how to explain. Okay, I, I understand. It's like uh, um, adventure in music. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, great. Uh, so you have a band. Yes. Yes. Uh, they they were with you in Saint Petersburg. What? They are with you? No, no, no. Uh, s um, sadly not. Um, but I, I hope that uh, next time we can be together. My band is Babel, the name is Babel. Um, and we are two person, Alejandro Blasi and me. Mm -hmm. And we play different instruments on the shows, like, um, I don't know, 16, 20 different instruments. Wow. Uh, similar sometimes, um, right. wind instrument, uh, string instrument. And we try to mix uh, this instrument with a little bit of electronic. Mm -hmm. Um, because we like the connection with the earth um, 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 through the instrument and uh, we like too the mood of electronic um, feeling uh, can give something contemporary uh, like the mood of, of this time and we, we like to to mix this uh, both feelings great uh Back to photography, when you look at your picture, do you hear music? And reverse, when you listen to your music, do you see some photos? Yes, yes, uh, it's, uh, all the time it's like a mix of, of, uh -huh. of all these things. When we are making a, a composition with my friend, with Alejandro, uh, we, sp we speak uh, sometimes not with the uh, words, of music, for the ideas we speak with words of painting, like uh, in this part we need something impressionist, or in this part or more renaissance or something like this. Um, and in the photography too, sometimes I think in, think in architecture when I take pictures, mm -hmm. more than in photography or in architecture more. Um, uh, in music too, because music is like a composition with different, like you are making a building. Uh, and uh, this was great uh, conversation, uh, great interview. Uh, I really uh, have much more questions to you, but uh, time, <laughs> we can <laughs> we can meet. We can meet other yes. time, of course. Yes, I invite you uh, on next interview, anytime uh, you, uh, you want. And I am really thank you for, for coming and thank you for this interview. Thank you for your great exhibition about our city. And I really uh, hope to see you again. I'm sure we will. Okay. Thank you uh, very much and uh, good luck with your uh, exhibition in St. Petersburg. Okay, Andre, and thank you very much for your interest and for your wonderful place, Svetimir. It is um, amazing with a good feeling, and I feel so glad to come here. And I would like to come to play too, or sure. make some things, of course. Sure, great. Thank you. Thank you very much.